of the turtles and rat into superheroes. The mutant teenage turtles use martial arts to fight the bad guys. We don't know why they're teenagers. If it looks foolish to you, you don't know how to recognize a $350 million a year industry when you see it. But Alan Cox does. Eric Johansson is rushing down the aisle at Target because he's learned an important lesson. you got to get to the store as soon as it opens to get a shot at the turtle of your dreams. Or one of the nearly dozen bad guys. And a costume set. No, not that one. I guess this one's not as cool. And for high rollers, the sewer playset. Do you want sewer swimming Donatello? Or do you want the racking? Or I just got the racking. It's entertainment and it seems relatively harmless. They don't provide turtle toys at child care centers like Children's World, but talk to the kids and you'd never know it. Turtle power. They fight with the bad guys. Ninja turtles live in the sewers. Yeah, they live underground. All this, even though in daycare they never turn on the TV show. But a lot of kids do on Channel 9 every afternoon and come spring in a new $15 million movie. An impressive achievement for comic book characters who started in black and white with doses of bloodletting and profanity for an adolescent audience. Marketers saw the potential, toned the turtles down for a younger crowd, so they sell cookies and cereal, draw kids into Burger King. It worries some parents. There's a lot of violence, which doesn't seem to connect very often with much of a plot. There's a good deal of sexism. The lead female character often gets into trouble and has to be rescued, although that may be because she's a TV reporter. Another criticism is that the cartoon show can be seen as one big advertisement for the toys. Some members of Congress propose outlawing that kind of children's TV. That wouldn't go over too well at the Sweetman household, where the toys sharpen debating skills. They live in Dimension X. Yeah, no. Yeah, but, yeah, but they go in Dimension but, X. Um, no, they were taken from the city's zoo. And they teach a sense of humor. They say, like, really funny things. Yeah, like, Michelangelo says... We tried to get in the fun by bringing a container of turtle ooze. It's kind of disgusting, isn't it? I know, really disgusting. Obviously, some of us are too old to appreciate these things, but for the young of America, turtle power lives. Alan Cox, WCCO Television News. <laughs> It'll turn your brain to mush. That's what I tell the children at home. There are 600 different turtle products, and Mark Rosen has every one of them in his house. <laughs> Thank goodness my kids have not discovered this program oh, oh, as of yet. Will. All will. right. Well, next in sports.